Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book and record to play for you. Today's book is Huckleberry Finn from 1974. So let's get started. The year is 1831. Huck Finn and a runaway slave named Jim are rafting down the Mississippi together. Huck has just escaped from his father, a brutal drunkard who beat him up nearly every day. Jim ran away from his owner, Miss Watson, when he heard that she was going to sell him to someone down in New Orleans. I just can't think you would get to Cairo. I can almost breathe the air in free states on Ain't going to be that easy. We have to take a steamer up the Ohio River, and I'll have to pass you off as my slave. Oh, don't worry about that. We're going to be just fine. There's one problem. How are we going to know when we reach Cairo? Because that's where the Ohio joins the Mississippi. We can't miss it. Just look out for lights so we know when the town comes along. Hey, look at that. Ain't those lights? They sure is. Hey, Ro, here we come. All right, I'll go ashore and you lay low. Taking the canoe they had on the raft, Huck was paddling toward shore when he saw two men rowing toward him. They both had guns. That your raft, boy? Yes, sir. Any men on it? Only one, sir. Well, there's five slaves run off tonight up yonder above the head of the fence. Is your man white or black? He's... he's white. I reckon we'll go see for ourselves. I wish you would, because Papa's mighty sick. Uh, maybe you can help me tow the raft ashore. What's the matter with your father? Oh, it ain't nothing much. Boy, that is a lie. What is the matter with your pap? Smallpox. Smallpox? Why didn't you tell us it was smallpox right away? You want to spread it all over? Sit back, dog. Sit back. Keep away, boy. Keep to leeward. Jim? Yeah, I am, huh? Are they out of sight yet? Yeah, they're gone. Lordy, how you did fool, huh? That was the smartest dodge. I tell you, it saved old Jim. And old Jim ain't ever gonna forget you for that. No, sir. Jim? What's wrong? The water close in by the shore was clear, and the current was running fast. What does that mean? It means the Ohio is already joined with the Mississippi. It means we missed Cairo. Well, there's only one thing to do. We've got to take the canoe and I love River.
think I might look kind of old and grizzled to play a young gal like Juliet. Don't you worry. These country jakes won't ever think of that. Besides, you'll be in costume, and that makes all the difference in the world. All right, count me in. The drifters put out handbills advertising their show in the next town along the river. And that evening, they had a packed house. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight on this stage, the Royal Shakespeare Company of London will present excerpts from the immortal bard's great tragedy, Romeo and Juliet. hadn't gotten very far when they were greeted by laughter and then catcalls from the audience, which grew louder and louder. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? <laughs> but the two managed to finish the performance, and at the close, the younger man stepped in front of the curtain to make an announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, Due to pressing engagements in London, England, we regret that we shall be able to present this great tragedy for only one more evening. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> the next night, there was a packed house again, but a lot of the customers were people who had come the night before. Hey, do you see how their pockets bulge? I bet they got rotten eggs in there. Sure smells like it. What are we going to do? We're going to get out of here. Keep your mouth shut and follow me. <laughs> Slipping quietly backstage, the two drifters broke into a run. In no time, they were back on the raft again with Jim and Huck. How'd we do? We pulled in over $400. That ain't bad. Not bad. Let's have a drink on it. Don't mind if I do. In the weeks that followed, the two con men tried their hand at everything. But nothing worked out right. And pretty soon, they were broke again. I think we ought to try Romeo and Juliet again. It's been a while since we've done that, ain't it? Well, oh, no. I'll just scout around that thar town, see how the land lies. If I'm not back by midday, you come on after me. When midday came and the old man had not returned, Huck and the other drifter went into town. As soon as they were gone, the old con man stole back aboard the raft. Kneeling beside Jim, who was sleeping, he tied the runaway's hands together with a thick rope. Up on your feet, you. We're going up the road a piece. Waiting for them up the road was a farmer named Silas Phelps and two of his slaves. Here he is, Mr. Phelps. The runaway slave I told you about this morning. Just give me $40 and you can claim the $200 reward. Here's your $40. Pleasure doing business, Mr. Phelps. Come on, let's get him home. Meanwhile, back in town, Huck gave up looking for the old man, slipped away from the young man, and ran back to the raft. Sarah loose, Jim. I give him the slip. Jim, he's gone. I gotta find him. First, Huck didn't know where to look for Jim, but then he met a passerby who had seen Jim sold. Yeah, this old stranger come along and sold him for $40 to Silas Phelps. Said there was a big reward on him. Which way does Phelps live? Two miles down river. Much obliged. Huck was determined to free Jim at any cost, and soon reached the Phelps house. Dead. 
So did everybody. But I just faked that when I run off so my pappy wouldn't follow me. What are you doing here? That's a long story. All you have to know right now is two things. Your aunt and uncle think I'm you, and Miss Watson's Jim is being kept under lock and key by your Uncle Silas. Old Jim? Why, he's... I'm going to steal him out of slavery no matter what anybody says. He says I'm the best friend he's got, and I ain't going to let him down. All right, then. I'll help you steal him. I knew you'd come through, Tom. What are we going to do about the Phelps is thinking that I'm you? That's easy. I'll just come back with you and tell him that I'm my brother Sid, and that we wanted to surprise him. So I'm still Tom. And I'm Sid. Although the Phelps were surprised at first, Aunt Sally and Uncle Silas were even more pleased to have two visitors than to have one. The boys soon found out where Jim was being kept. Jim, it's me, Huck. Are you all right? Huck, am I ever glad to hear from you. I've got Tom Sawyer with me. We're going to help you escape. It looks like we'll have to dig a hole under this wall. Jim, you should be out of here in a few days. On the night appointed for the escape, several of Phelps' neighbors were helping him guard the house because there had been a report of outlaws in the area. Huck was worried. Do you think we should wait a little longer? Of course not. What fun would the escape be if there wasn't no one to chase us? Well, if you say so. Slipping out of the house, the boys led Jim through the tunnel they had dug under his hut. Then, they made for the river. There they go. After a boys and turn loose the dogs. Quick, behind this bush. So that was Huckleberry Finn for 1974. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And our next book will be uh, Ruff, uh, Ruffles Silskin.